Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss whether Earth's deep seas, shrouded in dark oxygen, could be hiding alien life. The deep sea floor, 12,000 feet below the surface of the Pacific Ocean, is covered by ancient rocks known as the clarion clipperton Zone. Although these rocks appear devoid of life, they may actually be hiding different kinds of tiny sea creatures and microbes, some of which may have adapted to survive in the dark. The deep sea rocks, which are called as polymetallic nodules, turn into a habitat for various marine organisms and also generate oxygen across the ocean floor. A team of scientists, which includes experts from Boston University, made this discovery which challenged the idea that sunlight is required for the production of oxygen and generally occurs near the surface of the ocean where photosynthesis of the phytoplankton occurs. When the oxygen was detected at such depth amid darkness, initially, the researchers felt that it was an error. Jeffrey Marlowe said, This was really weird because no one had ever seen it before. Marlowe, who has an understanding of microbes present in extreme environments like deep-sea hydrothermal vents and hardened lava, initially believed that microbial activity is responsible for the production of oxygen. For investigating the dark oxygen, deep-sea chambers which can land on the seafloors and encapsulate sediment, polymetallic nodules, living organisms and seawater, were used by the researchers. For 48 hours, the oxygen levels in these chambers were measured by the team. Generally, if oxygen is consumed by the organisms, the levels will drop on the basis of the amount of activity carried out in the chamber. However, it was noted that in this case, there was a rise in the oxygen levels. We did a lot of troubleshooting and found that the oxygen levels increased many more times following that initial measurement, said Marlowe, adding, so we're now convinced it's a real signal. The research was conducted by Marlowe and his colleagues aboard a vessel which was dedicated to exploring the ecology of the clarion Clipperton zone. The team, which was headed by Andrew Sweetman from the Scottish Association for Marine Science, after conducting different experiments, reached the conclusion that microbial activity was not driving the production of the oxygen, primarily even though a lot of microbes were present on and inside the rocks. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.